Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And when is a vintage bike maybe not so vintage? How about when it's a fuel injected, five speed belt drive, Excelsior Henderson Super X? Now, actually, it's probably vintage now. These were produced in 1999 and 2000. They made approximately 1,900 of them before they went under. They closed the shop. They were announced in 1996. I have a 96 model, which is a pre-production prototype that was unveiled for investor relations and shown to the dealers. This particular example has, oh, I think 600 some miles on it. 692. And you'll hear me say, I've owned this bike for 10 years. I probably did. Anyway, it was running and driving up until recently. I finally had to go through the fuel system. It's running and driving again. We're going to take it for a ride. What is that? Uh, dog hair. Optional Super X backrest. That's a crate end. Not the numbered one, unfortunately. This is reminiscent of the original Excelsior Hendersons going through the fender. External springs, people didn't like that. The horn is reminiscent of the original ones, which ceased production, oh, around the Great Depression. It's a five speed, uh, 85 cubic inch, just underneath 1400 cc's. Really nice sales literature. I have a couple of these with the accessories enlisted. This is the dealer handbook. Price lists, confidential, ooh, can't show you that. Now this one is unmodified. Apparently they had a problem with one of their contractors with a bushing in the transmission that if not checked and or replaced, it could potentially lock up the rear wheel. And those have been sorted out mostly after their closing, after the plant closed. There still has some port support for them. I go to Atlantic Excelsior Henderson in Elkton, Virginia. I have one of these that I drive. This is more of a museum bike. This is number 1559 so it's near the end but it's unmodified and that's the way I'm keeping it as close to as it was unpacked from the crate as possible but we can still take it for a short spin and we're gonna do that next well let's hear it run Let's see if I can do this with one hand. for a ride. Now, I really like these bikes and you can buy them even one like this for the price of a used Sportster. Oh, they're even probably less expensive than a 
clapped out Evo, and you get so much more. Now, if you get one and you want to ride it, you should make sure you have that transmission updated and do that at Atlantic Excelsior Henderson and even have a chrome exchange program. Now the chrome on this is pretty nice, it's not perfect. A little bit of work in it, probably can be. Pennsylvania so much, but they threatened that franchisees were going to pull the dealership, and a lot of them had to walk away. And that's kind of unfair from a company that sought protection from 
the Japanese competitors by having the federal government impose sanctions. And if you think of what they did with Atla, with the phony merger deal, forcing the company into bankruptcy, so they can buy the assets on the street. Thank you. 